All right, folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. So I kind of decided to get started with the horizontal stab back here. Before I start worrying about getting stab tubes and sockets and uh, capped ribs and all that stuff figured out, what I wanted to, what I've decided is I want to get this portion of the stab sheeted to where it will, uh, it'll be ready and easier to trim this quarter inch piece off here for the uh, for the cap rib that we're going to make out of light plywood. So first thing I started doing, I went and I got a piece of 8th inch balsa wood to start sheeting. And I've already got started a little bit here and I've cut the sheet to match the shape here. This shape originally was squared. Um, I'm not a big fan of hard corners like this. So I've went ahead and cut more of a uh, scarfed joint here and got this fit nicely and then I'll have it marked here to trim and then for here at the leading edge I will likely go from this corner to this corner and do this whole piece uh, as a single entity instead of trying to make a little piece here then another piece here and it'll like be like be at least two more pieces but it won't be some weird little corner here it'll be up here at the the root this juncture where there's going to be a, a good bit of fiberglass overlap so it should be a little bit stronger there so i'm going to trim this sheet here down to the the size span that we want i'm leaving it just a little bit oversized and in, in length just because we're going to trim all that off anyway so i'm not too worried about the fit being perfect out here towards the end so we'll see, got that there. And then we'll take our sheet balsa again and we'll put it up here against the edge and we'll see how it comes very far forward at this point. So like I said, I'm gonna trim this piece of sheeting off <coughs> so as to uh, put that corner here further up into the root. See the uh, I got the balsa wood skin here for the top of the horizontal stab stub fit very nicely. It's a little bit of it's just a little oversized. I'm gonna slightly use that to my advantage to help seal the gaps. Make sure it's really good, nice tight fit. Um, next thing up is it's pretty it's pretty clean. I'm gonna just brush it off just a little bit just to get any loose stuff that may be in there out. And now we need to go about the process of gluing this thing in. So as you saw me use, well actually you didn't see me use it on the, on the wing. Well you may, may have. I like to use the uh, brown Gorilla Glue. The original stuff, this stuff here. Because of the foaming action, it works really well for sheeting foam surfaces like this. I actually even used it for sheeting wooden structures because it, it helps build like a nice little uh, glue fillet around the ribs and the wing skin so it gives you a little bit better of a bond. 
So anyway, we got this situated. The Gorilla Glue, it foams because of the, uh, the moisture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray a little bit of water here on the foam and just kind of brush it around with my hand and then a very, very light spray of water on the skin that we're gonna put in. And this is just to help that Gorilla Glue kind of work its way into the pores of everything. Cause as you can see up here, even they they used the Gorilla Glue, it did not, it did not really penetrate into the foam at all. back tape that the original builder told me about we'll go around and we will tape off the seams to help hold those edges down <clears throat> it's officially pollen season here where I live I will put the, I'm gonna tape down here the leading edge and you're probably wondering well what about the middle that's kind of bowed up a little bit since it's slightly oversized and that one I will show you how I'm going to remedy that here in just a second right. and the same thing we're going to do down the inboard in there One more piece. Okay, so we got the edges sealed nicely, but you can see that's still kind of it's still floating off the surface. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, pretty easy. Gonna take some quarter inch by half inch spruce sticks. They really, they just, they could even be balsa wood, just something that you can basically bend around the airfoil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of have them like a, an X shaped. I'm gonna clamp it here at the trailing edge as best as I can at the moment. And then here at the front, I am going to bring them together and then I'm going to clamp them here as well. And what it'll do is it'll suck this whole thing down and it'll follow the majority of the airfoil. Not, not perfectly, but pretty good enough at least for, for this process. And for this, I'm just going to use one of these bar clamps. All right, there we go. Reposition it back here, that way we can get there. Perfect. And now you can see it has sucked it down to where it should be a nice contour for the stab. And you can see very little gaps. What gaps are there that that Gorilla Glue will actually foam up and fill in for us. And then once this is done, we can sit there and start getting to the point to where we start prepping and drilling these wing tube, or I should say stab tube sockets in place. So that's gonna be it for this video. So for next time, see you later.